Spider-Man uh, made a big swing at the box office this weekend, grossing $253 million, the highest weekend opening of any movie since the beginning of the pandemic. Join us now to discuss if moviegoers are back. Sarah Fisher, Axios media reporter, and Matt Baloney, uh, Puck News. we well, got to be careful there. Founding uh, partner. I keep pucking that chicken. Uh, who was that? Uh, Ernie Anastos. Anyway, uh, thank you. Hey, Sarah, you know what depressed me about this? Um, I I'm very happy that this happened. And they don't have streaming, I know, for, for Spider-Man. And at least it shows that, uh, that that model is not gone. It might be more powerful than ever. People are seeing it again and again and again. What depressed me was that the, the two movies ahead of it were both Avengers. I, have you seen Avengers? Is it all CGI? Who goes to see? What happened to The Graduate or Unforgiven or... or I mean, the Avengers, these, uh, that, that's the biggest openings of all time. That's where society is. That's where society is, Joe. These uh, dramas that you're referencing that tend to lure older adults, they're just not doing well Ooh, in theaters. What's doing well in theaters, I'm sorry, Joe, <laughs> I did not mean to offend you, but what's doing well in theaters is the type of Marvel Cinematic Universe stuff that really requires big screen, fandom, people experience. That's what does well in theaters. They tend to attract younger audiences. And it's also notable in COVID when people who are older tend to have more you know, adverse side effects to contracting the virus. Younger people might be more willing to take that risk as opposed to older people. So I would expect this trend to not just continue, but to actually explode. More Marvel, Star Wars, Avengers, those types of films are going to continue to be the huge things that you're seeing explode in theaters as opposed to things like West Side Story or other sort of more mellow dramas. But still, the, 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 the sheer number itself they says something about Spider-Man or something about that it wasn't available anywhere else. Does it not, uh, Matt? That's huge. Absolutely. It was, it was so much bigger than expectations, which were, which well, were already pretty high. Yeah, I mean, first of all, the Spider-Man character is the most popular of That's the comic cool. book characters yeah. this is the eighth live action spider-man movie and this one was the culmination of a trilogy that led up to it there was also some stunt casting and some other things that people felt that they really need to go out and see it immediately so it wouldn't be spoiled on the internet and i think that contributed a lot to this huge opening weekend but most people in hollywood did not think it would get to these Heights. I mean, as you said, this is the third biggest opening globally of all time, and it did not even have China, where the film has not been granted a release. So this is an extraordinary result, and it really shows that for the right product, for the right property, people are willing to go to theaters. This is 20 million or so Americans or people in North America that braved this virus and went to the theaters for this movie. It's a pretty amazing result. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.